Good morning, everyone. Greetings and welcome to Remedy 24. Today, we'll show you the health benefits of spirulina. Spirulina is a form of blue-green algae that contains B vitamins, beta-carotene, and vitamin E, among other nutrients. Spirulina is a vegan protein source that also contains antioxidants, minerals, chlorophyll, and ficocyanogalin. Health Benefits Spirulina has been used to treat a variety of health problems, including exhaustion, high cholesterol, excessive triglycerides, and viral infections, according to proponents. Weight loss, greater vitality, and immune system stimulation are all claimed spirulina advantages. Only a few human research have looked into the health advantages of spirulina. However, preliminary research suggests that spirulina could help with the following ailments. High cholesterol. According to a study published in the Annals of Nutrition and Metabolism, spirulina may help with lipid problems like excessive cholesterol or high triglycerides. Healthy older adults were given either spirulina or a placebo in the trial. Spirulina was linked to considerable cholesterol reductions after four months. Allergies. According to a review published in 2009, spirulina shows potential in the treatment of allergic rhinitis, nasal allergies. Spirulina consumption was found to have various benefits in prior research of persons with allergic rhinitis, including relief from symptoms such as nasal discharge, sneezing, congestion, and itching. Diabetes. In a 2008 study of 37 persons with type 2 diabetes, researchers discovered that those who took spirulina for 12 weeks saw a significant reduction in blood fat levels. Spirulina advantages included a reduction in inflammation as well as a reduction in blood pressure and cholesterol in some patients. In a separate small research, 15 persons with diabetes who did not use insulin were given 2 grams of spirulina per day as a supplement for 2 months. They didn't make any other dietary or behavioral changes. The patient's blood sugar, cholesterol and triglyceride levels were all lower at the end of the trial. Oral Cancer According to one small research of tobacco tours with precancerous oral lesions, spirulina may give some protection against oral cancer. Participants in the trial were given either a daily dose of spirulina or a placebo for a period of 12 months. The lesions had been cleaned up in 20 of the 44 patients who had ingested spirulina by the end of the research. Possible Side Effects Although there are few side effects linked to spirulina use, it can cause headaches, allergic reactions, muscle soreness, sweating, and insomnia in some people. Spirulina should be avoided by people who are allergic to seafood, seaweed, or other sea vegetables. Spirulina may not be suitable for you if you have a thyroid problem, an autoimmune disorder, gout, kidney stones, phenylketonuria, or are pregnant or nursing. Before you take it, make sure to check with your doctor. Spirulina growing in the wild may be able to absorb toxins from the water, such as microcystins, which can cause serious liver damage, pollution, and heavy metals. In the United States, the majority of spirulina sold is grown in laboratories. Before using spirulina, as with any supplement, speak with your doctor to see whether it's right for you, and if it can be taken with other prescriptions or supplements you're taking. Dosage and Preparation There isn't enough scientific evidence to propose a spirulina dose. Spirulina in various concentrations has been utilized in studies. For example, doses of 1 to 8 grams per day for 4 to 6 months have been employed in various studies looking at the advantages of spirulina for high cholesterol. One study gave participants a daily dose of 4.5 grams of spirulina blue-green algae for 6 weeks to see how it affected their blood pressure. A product containing 1 gram of spirulina was given to type 2 diabetic patients twice daily for 2 months in another research. The appropriate dose for you may depend on factors including your age, gender, and medical history. Speak to your healthcare provider to get personalized advice. What to look for? Spirulina is commonly sold as a powder, but it can also be found in capsules, pills, and liquids. Smoothies sometimes contain the powder. Although spirulina refers to a variety of blue-green algae species, most spirulina supplements contain Aphanizomenon floss aqui, spirulina maxima, and spirulina platensis. It's critical to read the supplement facts label on every supplement you buy, as it is with all supplements. This label will include important information such as the number of active substances per serving as well as any additional compounds that may be present. 